ladies and gents, this is Linda Fajic777, and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for Rene Bouquets. Now, this project, I had found this piece at a garage sale, and it, um, to me, I believe, was um, a jewelry holder to hold necklaces and stuff. Could be wrong, but that's what I thought it was. Um, and I bought that for that intended use, but when I got it home and, you know, I had it just kind of sitting on my... Uh, bedroom dresser and I kept looking at it and I just was like no I'm gonna alter that because I loved the shape of it so I'm gonna move my sign out of the way and before I deconstructed this thing which was only two little items I took off I'll show you I took a picture so this time you don't have to <laughs> chuckle at my handmade drawing okay so let me move this out of the way bring my iPad in so this, and try to keep the glare, this is what it looked like ahead of time, okay? And so what I did is these little pieces here, I just kind of shimmied them back and forth and took it off. And so I had this kind of plate at the bottom and this awesome little swirly frame, okay? So that was the potential that I saw in this. Um, and I love swirly shapes. I am like a sucker for swirly shapes. So let me move my camera up and show you this cute little swirly shaped frame. I turned it into like a photo display. I know, right? Super cute. I love how it turned out. Um, when I took those little like holders off, of course, it left some exposed metal. And so I took Prima Heavy White Gesso, a pouncy brush, and I kind of did about two layers all around... Um, you know, the frame part and kind of the bottom of the tray and everything just to kind of cover that up, give it a little bit of texture, make it look shabby chic. And then I just kind of went to town on this thing. So let me, um, I think I'm going to have to go up, bring my camera up, need to go up and then down so I could bring it into view. It works for me to hold it up to the camera. So let me bring this up and we'll get a little more up close and personal with it. So this is what I came up with. Okay. The plate part of this was just a sweet spot to um, house all these embellishments. And I originally was going to like hang the frame from the top and kind of be like a little swinging frame. So this frame here, I was going to like swing it, but I was trying to get this done quickly and I didn't feel like going out and like drilling tiny little holes and such. So I just glued it to this part, glued it to this uh, uh, bar here of this. Okay. I just think it turned out super cute. Love it. Let me turn it around. Because the back is exposed, I did do just a tiny little bit on the back to finish it off. Can't leave it, you know, just open. I like my things finished on the back, if at all possible. Okay. So what I started with, you see it right here. I've got three of these little wood pieces. Okay. So let me set this down. I had purchased these from Michaels, I think. They're Tim Holtz. They're wood panels, and they go for his uh, vignette boxes so that you can make shadow boxes out of them. And they come, is this supposed to? Yeah, four piece. So they come in four varying sizes. So I used three of them, okay? And I just kind of painted the outer edges with white gesso, and then I used uh, Prima Love Clippings and Tales of You and Me on top for the paper, okay? Um, and I, of course, you could see it here, sewed all the edges, distressed all the edges. And what I did is on the bottom under here, just to kind of take up the space, I put a little bit of chipboard and then I layered both, uh, layered this wood piece down, both the other pieces on top. And it kind of gave me a step ladder because I didn't want just to start putting my flowers down on the bottom and have to go all the way up to that frame. It kind of gave me something to layer on, you know, like a, obviously, like I said, a step ladder to kind of layer up onto to bring your eye up to, um, you know, the main focal point, which obviously is the picture. So it just gave me some area to um, work up to. So let's see, I'm trying to figure out where I want to start. 
And yes, that's a picture of my husband and I. It's kind of one of my favorites. I was looking skinny that day. <laughs> so let's start on the um, bottom. The first thing I did is I just layered with a ton of flowers um, to give me my base. I've got rolled roses. I've got Prima flowers, these beautiful little pink ones and this kind of cream ones. These um, come from Prima uh, flowers called Lacey. These are um, Renee's shop, the dot com. Um, and then I've got some of the like more brown tone of those Prima flowers and those are called beige. Okay. Um, let's see. And I've got this beautiful Rene Bouquet chiffon flower. Now these flowers kind of, uh, they're not in her shop right now. These flowers kind of come more out um, in the fall and I had one left. It's kind of a really light, light um, tan color. Really beautiful. But you've seen Renee's flowers before. The chiffon flowers, I use them all the time. But just in case, I know you're all going to say it, just in case there's a new viewer, because there might be, let me show you <laughs> um, some of these flowers up close. She has all sorts of different colors. Be look at that, just beautiful flowers beautiful chiffon flowers and I just love the combination of these together look at those beautiful flowers and then you put the ivory flower with it that is just yeah I want to put those on my pillow and sleep with them I know <laughs> love the chiffon flowers and let me put one in my palms you can kind of see how big they are just beautiful so this one is like the fall release she has kind of fall colors summer colors winter colors christmas time that kind of thing so those are the fall release ones so i've got that kind of tucked in there um i've got of course um renee bouquet's mulberry flowers kind of tucked in here some of these ones um here are her mulberry flowers. The set I use often and I will order often is the ivory set. It's the wild roses, gardenias, and leaves. It's a set of 13 because, you know, ivory goes with anything. So, um, and then I've got some more of the Prima flowers. Let's see these ones here. Uh, Renee carries in her store. And these are the Rosy Bell um, fabric flowers. They're called Thistle. Um, these are... Prima flowers. These are called To the Moon and Back. I believe Renee has those in her store. Um, let's see. Here's some more of the lacy flowers. Um, these are flowers are by Prima as well. Let's see. I've got some flowers from my stash in there, which basically are the rolled roses. You can see behind here, I kind of stacked up to lean against. These, again, are more of the Prima flowers, the lacy and the page uh, from Renee's store. Okay, so... That's the flower scene going on. Um, oh, and then also I've got a little bit of, this is just Prima flower trim. This is from my stash. I've got a little bit of that tucked in here. And then what I did is starting to layer on top of that. So I used from uh, Renee's store, I've got Prima Love Clippings chipboard. So that's this uh, piece back here. And I love it because it says our story, you and me on it. And then this is another piece from that collection. It says us on it. So I started with this piece here, okay, and then I layered on here, this is Prima Shabby Chic Treasures Baroque Frames, Renee carries this as a two-piece set, she has this in her store, and then I layered on top of that, this is just a Prima resin clock for my stash, and then on top of that is, this is a Tim Holtz, um, oh, what do you want to call it, like a watch piece, a blank watch piece, however, I use this, but I want to tell you because I didn't have any in my sta in my stash. Renee carries very similar to these in her shop. They are like a round face, and they are these blank like um, stopwatch clocks, so that you could add to the center of them. So she has, um, and I believe a couple of different uh, metal colors. Okay, so she does have these very similar to this in her shop. I would have used it had I had it, but this is what I had on hand. But I put this on here so that I could tell you about those. And they look so cute when you're doing shabby chic or vintage pieces. Okay, um, and let's see, then I'll come back to this because it's kind of kind of part of my title. Um, I've got some beautiful uh, Renee Bouquet Tiny Treasure Butterflies on here. My favorite you'll see me use often. This is called Ice. It's just kind of a clear glitter butterfly. And then this one over here is called Sweetheart. Because of, you know, it's beautiful pink Sweetheart. The attention to the heart detailing in the center of the body. Just beautiful. 
Um, so if we come up, let's see, up to the side here, this piece, let me turn it a little bit. This was a frame for my stash. It was gifted to me in a swap. Um, and so I just used the Prima Heavy Gesso um, pouncy brush, kind of textured it up so it would match this uh, piece here and then I kind of just broke like a chunk out of it because I needed it to only fit like on the corner so if you look you can see here and then come around all the way let me move the flower all the way up to that piece see that there okay so I broke off like this corner of it okay and I laid that on top of this beautiful resin frame from Frank Garcia it's his new memory hardware line and this frame is called the Marcel Grand and all I've got here is I do I know I do somewhere is the picture of it here it is right behind me so you can see it more up close so that's the picture of it well it might help if I take the plastic off right then you can see it a little bit there here we go that's the frame that I use. And there's about four or five different designs in Renee's store, okay? So, that's what's on the back. Again, to make it match with everything else, I used Prima and Heavy Gesso and did like a texture on it. See if I bring it up, you can kind of see the texture on there. Okay, and then I layered, let me turn it this way, I layered on top of that. So my first piece back there is one of those uh, wood pieces like I laid on the bottom, the little Tim Holtz wood pieces. And then I started layering some paper from, um, I think it was the Love Clippings. So I layered a piece of paper here, layered a chipboard piece from Love Clippings. This is another uh, piece layered on here. This is from Tales of You and Me by Prima. This piece is Love Clippings, and you can see how everything is always sewn in distress. And then I printed my picture black and white, sewed it on. I kind of distressed the edges just a bit and then sewed around the edges to carry that theme forward. Okay, this is just from, I think, Stationer's Desk uh, old release. This is just one of the paper clips that came out. I thought it was a cute little, uh, you know, boy and girl holding hands. Um, this is from Prima. It's Junkyard Findings, and these are, um, it's a set of three lamps just from my stash, industrial lamps. Um, here's some more of the Prima flower trim here, kind of tucked in there. Got another little piece tucked in right over here. Coming out the side of that, because this is, you know, kind of signifying time and things like that. Um, and you know how I love clocks and I like to use clock hands and stuff. So here is Prima's Junkyard Findings clock hands from my stash. I've got them kind of tucked in between the layers of the papers there. Okay, these cute little things. I've got one here, one kind of tucking out over here one kind of right down here. These are from Recollections from my stash. I just thought they gave it a nice little shabby chic touch, kind of brought the pink up a little bit. Okay, and then this is my title, of course. Um, this is Heidi Swap Woodward from my stash, and this is just a Woodward from Michael's, you know, their uh, little wood bins you can get words and stuff out of. So basically it says, Simply Love. And then, of course, our story, you and me, us. And so it all kind of ties into the title. Okay? And then on the back side, I showed you all the flowers and stuff in here. Um, and then I just kind of layered a little um, frame for my stash in here. And then another little piece from the Prima um, Love Clipping Collection that says, My Heart. Just a kind of give it a little something. And then on the bottom, even though this is doily, um, I had one of these little um, doily die cuts that was gifted to me, um, and I cut it in half, and I placed one here and one on the front side, but of course you can't see the front, so I ended up covering it up. Okay? Just to kind of bring out the doily, almost as if this was like a little, you know, dessert plate, and you know, you have a little doily on it, and here's my dessert. Right? <laughs> Okay, and I add another little flower up here. I think I said that, wasn't sure. To kind of bring in the triangular of the flowers. Okay, and then I use this the same way. Because there was so much going on at the bottom, when I first started looking at this, I tended to look at the bottom first. And so I decided to put a little gem up here. Because now when I look at it, my eye goes right to that gem and then to the focal point of the project, which is the photo, and then my eye travels down to 
all of the lusciousness down below. And that's what you want to look at when you're designing is your focal point, your photo, whatever. When you look at your layout or you look at your project, your eye should right, you know, look away and then look at your project. And where does your eye look first? If it looks to your focal point, that is your objective. If it doesn't, you need to change some things around to draw your eye to that point. So that's what I did. I put this here first. It might look kind of funny with a little gem over here out of place. So I added more to draw it in. But when I look at it, my eye goes right to that first. And then I look at my photo. And then, like I said, down to the rest of it. Okay? So there's my project this time. Like I said, lots of fun. I just had fun um, seeing this little jewelry display holder in a whole new light. Um, you using it as a frame versus a, a jewelry display and I just think it's going to look super cute either here in my craft room or my living room um, holding a favorite photo of mine. So I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquet's. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!